All right, welcome to Yusiana. Let's start a new game. I'm going to put my galaxy size on 20 because I am playing on my phone. So I want to keep uh, only 20 star systems so I can manage what I am doing. Um, I'm going to put it on four empires, so that's going to be three AI players. I'm going to set the difficulty to max. I've never won a game on max. Um, so we'll show, we shall see how that goes. I'm going to do random starting positions. Um, it's going to be crazy. I might start next door to someone. They might come and steal all my worlds, but I want to keep it interesting. Um, I'm going to do two black holes, two space rifts, uh, wormholes on, and I'm going to turn random events on just to keep things spicy. All right, let's go to our uh, race selection. Uh, so we have the Tarlish, Humans, Sotheran, Dargathi, Bylon, Emioli, and a random empire. I'm gonna choose random. I'm just gonna let the game pick who I am. I don't, I don't really have a favorite race. I usually play with the humans, but I'm realizing that's really boring. I'm gonna shake it up, see what they give me. Let's start this game. All right, here's our galaxy, and we have become the Amioli Swarm. Let's take a look at our perks here. Our race perks, we get plus 10% max population on a planet, and plus 10% population growth. And we are good farmers, so plus one food per farmer. That's actually excellent. I am totally okay with that because food is essential. Um, so, let's look at our starting system, our home system. Our planet, Sakrai, Sakrai, I don't know how to say that. Uh, large, Terran, abundant minerals, normal gravity. Incredible. All uh, right. Uh, what is this planet that is also in our system? Mal 4, a large jungle with abundant minerals and normal gravity. That's incredible. I'm going to explore this planet. It has been a, reoccupied as an outpost. Okay, it's not bad. Um, and I'm gonna colonize it with my, my starting colony ship. All right, so we have only 10 million people. You can look at the population down here on the left. Um, but it's growing by 396,000 people a turn. I'm going to start some production here. What am I going to do? I'm going to go ahead and... Do I have a building on this already? I have a space dock. Interesting. I, um... Oh, that's because it had an outpost. So my, my, my explorer explored it, and the random event it got was an outpost, was reoccupied. And I think when you colonize a world that has an outpost, you automatically start with a space dock. That is super cool. I I just put that together, um, which is a good reason to build, um, to build these guys workers, because um, especially when they're cheaper to build further on, when your planet's more efficient, because then you can just start your new colonies off with a space dock without having to spend the production to build them. That's really cool. Anyways, back to the game. Um, my first building here is going to be... It's funny, because I usually do space dock. I'm going to go for shipyards, because, you know, I, I may be really close to another empire. I want to make sure my, my navy is ready to go. Um, actually, I take that back. Not shipyards, infantry barracks. Because the earlier you get that, the faster, the longer you have to build up a defensive army. Um, because you get, it says right here, you get plus one um, soldier every five turns, which is great. So I need to get a, get a start on that. All right, I am going to pick a research now. First of all, I'm going to check out where I am. I have one star system that is within range of jumping for my scout. And I'm going to, while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to send him out there. He's going to get there in three turns. What do I do? You know what? Honestly, because of my race perk, I'm going to go to cloning center to maximizing, to, I'm going to research cloning center to maximize my, to, to you know, the, the combination of my race perks and this building will help me immensely. That's also just a great starting tech to research. Okay, let's just um, look at our planet overview screen here. I'm building a worker. I don't actually want to do that. Uh, I was just clicking around. I'm going to build a colony ship because I bet there's going to, chances are, there's going to be a colonizable uh, world in this system. Orange stars. Great chance for habitable planets and poor chance for mineral rich ones. Yes, so hopefully there will be a colonizable world there. So we'll get a start in that colony ship. I'm going to skip to the next turn. All right, let's get this game going. Wow. Okay, so we are right next door to some people. 
they are building a scout ship. I mean, the game just started, so they have to have had their homeworld right there. So, which means that we're we're going to be in conflict right away. Um, hopefully, are they the Tarlish? We will meet them soon enough, I guess. I'm just going to skip. And who are they? Okay. Yep, their homeworld. Amazing. Okay, and they, for some reason, didn't use their scout to explore their home system first, like like I, I always do. So they've only explored a couple of these. I'm going to... I'm gonna take. I'm gonna look at one of these unexplored worlds and check it out. So I got I got the smuggler cache um, that they would have gotten in their own home planet, home system. It's incredible. That's awesome. A uh, little credit boost. Okay. So they are the Tarlish Imperium. There's nothing really I need to do here, um, except I don't really want to go to war right away. I'm gonna try and do a non-aggression pact. They don't want to do that, of course, because we're so close together. That's fine. Um, so I'm, I'm actually, I'm not going to change anything I'm doing. I'm already building a colony ship, so I'm going to try and sneak in here and steal one of their planets away from them, if I can beat them to it. Um, I'm going to skip next turn. Um, and they, they don't have a scout ship in the system, so I can actually pop this other unexplored planet as well. No bonuses there, just discovered fertile soil as a planetary feature, but that's that's fine. So I'm gonna take this scout, and there's nothing else to explore here. I'm actually gonna leave it in their home system, because so I can jump from that point. Although there are these two black holes, which will prevent me from jumping very far around here. So that's an issue. Okay, next turn. How far away is my spawner? Two turns, okay. And got my spawner. I'm gonna send him over to Tarlinium. Maybe we'll get lucky and be able to steal one of those worlds. You know what? I don't know what they're building. This isn't a colony ship, is it? It's a scout ship. I'm going to go ahead and start on another spawner. Because if if I can sneak my colony ships over there and take their worlds in their home, in their home system, I will do it. It's a dick move, but if I can, I'll, I'll do it. All right. So now the question is, what? which one do I do? Um, oh, never mind. So they did colonize that good one. I'm still going to take their ice world. Medium ice, abundant minerals, normal... Actually, it's it's not that bad. I mean, it's an ice world and it's me medium. Medium is better than small, though. Ice, not that great. But it's not one of the worst planetary um, types. Colonize. All right. So I have a foothold in their system, which will probably make them not like me. So I'm going to go ahead and go for infantry barracks, because the, tarli uh, the Tarlinium... The Tarlish are relatively militaristic, so... So now that I have this system... Okay, so because of these black holes, I still can't jump from that point. It's reducing my movement speed. I'm actually going to take him back to my home world. I'm going to take that scout back. And we have invented cloning center. Excellent. So... I'm going to switch over from my colony ship to a cloning center. Transfer that production. It's great. I'll have that cloning center up in four turns. For my next tech... This is a good question. Um, I'm actually going to go for Fusion Reactor because I need to explore further and find some more systems to take because I have nothing. <laughs> okay. Skip a turn. And we've finished our cloning center. Um, I'm going to build a space dock. Um, no, I'm not going to build a space dock. That's silly. Why would I do that? Not necessary at the moment. I could build a spy network, that might be handy. But right... No, I am gonna build a space dock. I'm gonna need it eventually. I'm gonna need that uh, military size soon enough. Okay, nothing's happening. Oh, they are building... Okay, they're about to declare war on me, absolutely. So, they, they have a military over there. I need to... I need to act. <sighs> and I don't have any military techs. That's okay. I'm going to stop building the space dock, and I'm going to start building ships. I'm going to build small ships. I'm going to... Um, I don't have any upgrades here, but what I'm going to do is take these nuclear bombs away and put lasers in this ship, just so they are defensive. Um, go back here, start building some insects. And because they have a fleet already, I'm going to take a... See if I can drop my food down, because I have a huge surplus of food thanks to that cloning center. Um, I don't want to take down my tech, because if anything, I want to increase my tech, but I'm going to keep it where it is. Okay, I'm, I dropped down my food, so I'm producing one 
So I'm gonna produce it in one turn. And let's get busy. Okay, we've got a insect. Oh man, three turns, can I, can I drop my food down? Oh no, I don't wanna starve my planet. I still wanna keep it growing. Okay, I'll keep it at three turns, that's fine. They are building an, a fleet up. All right, this video is getting a little bit long. I'm gonna leave it here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.